you guys, this is Miguel from Squid Home Madrid and today I'm at a 9 bedroom apartment, 9 shared bedroom apartment, I'm sorry, located in Calle Valencia which is in Lava Pies. Calle Valencia or the flat is actually located 45 seconds away from the metro station so you'll be uh, everywhere in no time, alright? So this place is perfect for I would say young couples, uh, I mean not young couples, young professionals, uh, students, even Erasmus or postgraduate students, all right? This place, of course, this is the common area with dining room, living room, and kitchen. And then to the left, we go to the bathrooms and to, of course, the nine bedrooms, all right? So this place, like I said, it's in Lava Pies, and as you know, Lava Pies is one of the most, I would say, interesting and funky areas of the city. There's a lot of things going on all the time, and a lot of bars and nice restaurants around, so this is a great place to be and I want to show you guys around, all right? So let's get started. So this is the main door, as you can see. I'm just gonna move here. And this is the kitchen with a window that goes to an interior patio. So um, quick overview, dining room, living room right there. And as you can see, it's fully equipped. It's got the, the oven, a washing machine, microwave oven, sorry, microwave oven, the oven extractor, the uh, electric stove, of course the sink, and it's fully equipped with everything you need, so n no worries at all on that area. All the dishes, cups, and plates, and glasses, and everything, so it's fully equipped. And it has, of course, it's a nine-bedroom apartment, so you're going to need at least two fridges, and I think these two are very big. Yeah, they're huge, so they're, they're good enough for all nine. All right, so um, of course we got this nice dining area with those beautiful lamps. It looks like a restaurant, very fancy and cool. And it also has this uh, kind of chill out area or living room with this nice couch, those two other um, sofas there, and of course the table here, nice TV, this shelf. It also has this furniture here for storage, which is really good, you know, in case you wanna put stuff in there, shoes or whatever. All right, and I'm just gonna move here to this corner so I can give you a view. This is where the, uh, you know, one of the best points I would say to view it. All right, so if we keep going through this hall, which is really nice actually as well, we have bedrooms one through three in here and then four through nine on the other side. All right, so let's start with bedroom number one, which is this one right here. Of course, it's a single bed with a desk, a standalone closet unit in the views of an interior patio. Of course, a lamp, a nightstand there, and a chair that goes along with the desk, and just the standalone closet unit for shoes and hangers and everything. It's good. Most of these rooms are very similar, so I won't open all the wardrobes because they're the same. All right, so this is another view of the room, of course, single bed, nice one. All right, now let's go to bedroom number two, just this one right here. Again, it's very similar, just different structure, but similar, same kind of wardrobe, single bed, nightstand, a lamp, the desk, this has a trash bin, um, a chair there, and same views to an interior patio. This just different structure but uh, same elements. All right, so let's go to bedroom number three, which is right next door. This one is a little bit smaller, exactly the same structure. The only thing is that the desk is behind the door. I'm gonna show you in a minute. All right, so let's come in here. Single bed, of course, nightstand, lamp, window to the interior patio. And the desk is just right here, just right behind the door. If you ask me, I kind of like it, you know, gives you some privacy. <laughs> All right, so next we find one of the bathrooms, which is this one. So, of course, it's a full bathroom with the sink, the toilet, and a nice shower with that shelf there for towels or any personal stuff. Of course, a nice circle mirror, the sink, and the uh, towel holder. All right, now let's go to the rest of the uh, bedrooms, right? So we, from here we have four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then bedroom, I mean bathroom number two. So we're gonna start with 
bedroom number four, which is a lot bigger. This one, these, all these four actually are exterior bedrooms. So that's nice. And it has, they have this kind of a structure here, a structure, I'm sorry, where you have the wardrobe here, which is a little bit bigger than the other ones and the bed at the other side. So I think it's good kind of like has two areas or like a walk-in closet if you want to call it that way. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show you this, this one real quick, but should be big enough. A lot of space in here. And then, and then this one should have some shelves. Yes. All right. And we go to the other side of the bedroom. Of course, we find the double bed with that nice wooden wall. It gives it a nice uh, touch, a nightstand, the uh, lamp, same desk and chair. And of course, one of the best things is that this one is exterior. So you can see that beautiful building in front of you. Or just if you open it, then go sit down. Let's see if I can open it. I'll try to open the other ones. All right and just another view this one is a lot bigger of course and it's really nice the other three are very similar all right so let's continue with bedroom number five again it's very similar like i just said same type of closet at the other side we find a double bed with a nightstand a lamp a desk and a window to the exterior to the street and yeah i'm gonna open this one up so you can see it so this is Calle Valencia, and right there actually is Lavapiés, the, the metro station. Super near, very close. All right, another view of the bedroom from here. All right, we're going to go now to bedroom number six, which is again right next door, exactly the same structure, same wardrobe, standalone wardrobe, same lamp, same nightstand just desk at a different position but still window to the street and a double bed with the same wooden wall there all right now let's go to be uh, bedroom number seven which is just a little bit different but same kind of uh, closet unit and then it's just a little different like i said but it still has the same a double bed a desk a chair that goes along with it the lamp and a nightstand there all right just uh, at the opposite side and a window to the exterior same street of course all right so now let's go to bedroom number eight which is an interior one is right in front of number seven and but this is still a double bed with the same kind of wooden wall there same wardrobe same desk lamp this one has you know it's, it's interesting has a nice corner there that i really like and of course a window to the interior patio that the others room go to as well rooms go to so all right and so this is bedroom number eight and last but not least we're gonna go to bedroom number nine and then the bathroom the second bathroom all right so this actually is very different from the other ones uh same kind of same um, equipment though, same wardrobe here. A again, a double bed, a nightstand, a lamp, the wooden wall there, and of course the desk, a chair, and a nice plant, and a Mac. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's not included, of course, and a window that goes to the same interior patio. All right, and we're gonna finalize the video with bathroom number two which is a little bit, actually it's, yeah, it's a little bit smaller than the other one, but of course it's full, it's a full bathroom as well with a sink, mirror, same type of fancy shower, the towel holder, circled mirror, a shelf there for towels and the toilet. All right, so sorry for the long video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, this is a nine share bedroom apartment located in Calle Valencia, which is in Lavapiés, and it's perfect for students uh, I would say young, uh, young professionals and uh, Erasmus and uh, young people in general. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it. This is Miguel from Sporahol Madrid, and see you next time. Bye.